The construction of Dangote Refinery was noiseless and peaceful from the beginning to the end. Now the operational stage is every day in the news. <laughs> this is coming from me. Uh, she was signing. And when you look at it, really, the construction was just going on mildly. People were just talking about it. No, no, nobody was interested. You know, every day people talking about it. All these politicians were doing their own bidding, doing their own things and all of that. But as soon as the operational stage uh, is ready, you know, it's, it, you know, was supposed to commence, you begin to hear it every day in the news. Yes, oil mafias in action. Um, the rich also cry. If he paid $100,000 for land, it can be called noiseless. If he was employing petroleum welders from India, not PTI, FO, and MBAs from India, not Unilag, it can be called peaceful. Sir, you should tell us. The world needs to know, and we are not even seeing anything. When I saw, when people started jubilating, then go to this, I said they won't start it. They won't start it. Never reach to this now, they don't cry. The government don't change them for them. Ah, after 28 years, I just say, I don't even understand why we are so gullible. When some people are so critical, the realist, when they are critical about some things, they say, oh, you people said of it to see good things. Eh, let us even rejoice the good part of it. When you know that what you are rejoicing over is not sustainable, you know that it's not sustainable, you just want to feel good, just one minute a, uh, uh, a happiness, then on ending a, a, a worries and depression is that the kind of thing that you people want to rejoice on i was telling people even when this issue of a subsidy remover ah it is true let them remove it this and this and that because a lot of people have learned a, a lot a lot during the removal of subsidy when jonathan was there this a, a lot of people were like oh they must not remove it not knowing that they the real people the, the the devil incarnate those people now they are the ones on on, on, on ground the same Buari who said subsidy subsidy is a scam first subsidy is a scam at the end of the day they now accept that they want to remove the same subsidy they fought see what Inubu is doing it was the one that organized people to go and protest that they should not remove that subsidy but now reverse is the case since that time a lot of people have learned lesson that you don't just rush or join the bandwagon that uh, ah they are going to do this me i don't even i'm not always happy when i hear anything about nigeria that is it because i know that it will not last they will just come out and bobo you it was it was then i used to ah when i hear that the federal government is planning something you just open your mouth see i it was it took me time to discover that they were always saying all of those things just for you to be pleased and after that event or whatever program they must have organized it ends there nothing i think i think uh, the subsidy remover that they rejected during Gulo Jonathan's time. A lot of people got to understand that the real devils are the ones who are who are cheering people up. And a lot of people believe it. And some people are still not having that sense again. When they say, oh, subsidy is gone. Ah, they say it is good. Let it go. Uh, this and this and that. We are going to enjoy now. At least, even if it is expensive, uh, let us see it. Let's, let's be able to buy it. Can you still buy it now? The same thing, Dangote came, they say, oh, Dangote, yes, uh, we are going to benefit. I just look at them, I say, is it, this, is it not the same government? Uh, where have you ever seen in the history of this country that all any politician will have the interest of the masses at heart? I don't, I've never seen. People were jubilating about four, five days ago. I say, don't jubilate. These things, eh, don't jubilate. The, 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 what we need in Nigeria now is seeing and believing. You touch it, you feel it, you experience it before you can talk about it. And when you talk about the experiencing it, touching it and feeling it, it is not just for just very few individuals. We are talking about when 99 or 90 percent of people are benefiting from a thing, not just 0.1 percent of the people. No, you know the reason for this controversy behind it, but you don't even want to be in trouble with this oil mugu uh, magu hyenas. That is a point someone raised. Same day Dangote announced product completion was same day NMPCA cooks hiked price. Exactly. They hiked the price. I thought Jagaban was strong enough to fight the Kaba. Seems he is not unless he is part of the who told you that Kaba Abongoni Kaba. Is he not the petroleum minister? Is he not the petroleum minister? So what are we talking about? Except for the heavy flooding experience during its completion stages that 
that massive flood that was set all over the nation was caused intentionally to help bring in those gigantic equipments. Hmm. Get idea. He really, really get idea. This country, the more you look, the less you see. You will look something like this. You don't need to need, use a microscope. You you see it with your clear clear eye like this, but they will tell you nothing. Simply because NMPCL will go out of business. I heard NMPCL are demanding to be the country so distributor. Uh -uh. Now so now, now be the issue now. They will not sell it to all those marketers. Those marketers will not be selling it to again to the uh, to the end users. Then what do you think will not happen? Is it not a uh, from pipe to fire? Do you mean that uh, that everything was going well until the pastor said that the best uh, dancer will go with the offering box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the current update? He is lucky to have been able to finish it during Buhari's era. Otherwise, they wouldn't have allowed him just as they refused to repair their four refineries. Because of Malta and Oandu, yeah. And who are the people that own that uh, Oandu? Malta. Yeah, I guess it's as good as mine. There's usually darker clouds just before the rain. Uh -huh. the Mugu. Continue giving yourself uh, unfruitful hope. It may not even be unconnected to uh, matters big shots bearing our nationality. Though, okay. It is typically a Nigeria problem. Never once in operational excellence are and sources. If it is not very hard, then it is not Nigeria. When things are not hard, they forget to be Nigeria. Everything will be soft. Everything everywhere just soft. Everywhere just chill. Forget it to nothing like that. When it is time to eat, many that are not even hungry will want to be part of it, especially when the food is nutritional like dangotis. Buhari era versus Tinubu era. Okay, argue with your keyboard. Argue with your keyboard. So, guys, I'll let's say your opinion and have your take on what she was saying.